Never ever have enough time to play at all. You know everybody wants to. The little town of Malta has magically appeared on top of the brand new workbench. So you might guess what I'm getting ready to do. Uh, I'm gonna work on finishing the backdrop. I think that's the first thing I need to do before I uh, put everything else back up in a semi-permanent fashion. You know, I've looked at this for many a minute, trying to figure out exactly what I wanna do. Uh, I think I'm gonna have a near hill start up here somewhere go here and then another hill that will come up here and then maybe go back down here and intersect with a third that will come across here uh, i'm not sure it'll probably just be one of those things that it will happen as i do it uh, i'm gonna try not to care at all about what i'm doing I'm just going to do it and whatever I end up with is what I end up with. So stand by. So here, here was my first go at some foreground scenery, uh, or maybe not scenery, painted scenery, I guess I should say. Uh, again, I'm not overly concerned about this area because it's going to be largely obscured by trees. Uh, if I haven't mentioned it, uh, I'm working on the technique of Daryl Hoffman. If you haven't seen any of his videos uh, on backdrop painting, you should watch them. Uh, you know, I'm I'm an extreme novice at what I'm doing right now, but the technique is is fairly easy. Uh, now, there's another guy by the name of Chris Lyon. And he has a slightly different technique. It's, it's similar, but it's different. And I'm going to start here and work this way, uh, attempting his technique. And probably what's going to happen is there's going to be slight different change in colors. I don't know that I will match these colors as well, but again, that's going to be hidden by trees. Uh, uh, he has several videos out there as well. I strongly suggest if you're thinking about doing some backdrop painting that you watch all of those videos. Uh, I haven't tried his technique yet, so this will be my first attempt. And if you ask me, I think the secret to this is not so much in what you do up here. Uh, that's part of it. Uh, and you can see them do that. So that part I think is a little easier to figure out. It's the mixing of the paint and how you get the colors and the color variations that that is kind of the secret to doing this. Uh, and, you know, it would be nice if you could actually see someone mix the paint on the palette before they apply it to the backdrop. Uh, I might think about that because I've got lots of backdrop <laughs> to paint. Uh, kind of once I get a little more comfortable with what I'm doing, that, that might be a focus on, on some future videos is actually watching me do what I do on the palette before I begin on the backdrop. I, I don't think there's enough of that out there on YouTube. So uh, stand by and I'm going to get started on uh, Chris Lyons technique. I've extended the the rest of the backdrop. Uh, that took maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes. Uh, and you can see the biggest difference between the two techniques is I'm using a, a round, stiff bristled brush. And all I'm doing is, is daubing uh, the paint on there. Now over here, I used teddy bear brown, uh, a little bit of olive green, and a little bit of white. Uh, three, three colors is all I used over there. Over here, starting about here over, is two colors. Mars black and candium yellow. Uh, so you can, you can kind of see the difference between the two. You get 
little more earth tones over here. I think this looks a little bit further away. Uh, and I kind of think that, you know, had I done everything that I did here, instead of daubing the brush, uh, if I would have used, because these are small vertical brushings there. I, I think that the two techniques are extremely similar. You end up with round top trees over here where these are a little more uh, indicative of, of straight up and down conifer trees. Uh, I like them both and I, you know, again, I'm, I'm gonna continue doing this side here with uh, the technique that I'm doing now. I've, I've got some more things to do. You can see I've, I've got a field there, uh, a field here, a field there, and then a field that kind of goes off in the distance to help create a little more depth. Uh, so I'm gonna work a little more uh, and just, you know, kind of show you as I go. I went ahead and, and moved the layout out of the way so that I could uh, be a little closer and, and work the rest of the scenery down down the <clears throat> the backdrop. Uh, so so basically, all I've done now is I've I've gone in with a few little highlights, uh, added some white in with the yellow to get something that's just a little bit brighter. Uh, got a nice valley going on there, a little bit of a valley there. Uh, and then I've got these trees. <laughs> and I'm, I'm still not sure that I think that that even looks good at this point. Uh, you know, you just take your brush and you do, you know, three to four inch vertical strokes straight up. And then on the bottom of that, then you come back in and do the daub uh, technique. Uh, so really, the only thing I have left to do now is to put in some uh, pine trees. Uh, and I'm going to get started doing that and show you what I've done. All right. I'm calling it finished. Uh, I'm fairly happy with it. You know, if I, if I were to, to start again, I probably would have continued this technique. I think this, there's just a little more color there, which, you know, I think I could, could do the same thing over here. Uh, it's just, it's a little easier to do, to do those round circles than it is to get the right size tree line. Uh, so, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue working on this, but I'm, I'm very encouraged, I think, that no longer than that actually took, you know, I'm thinking that it took probably less than an hour and a half to do. Uh, the most difficult part, in my opinion, was the pine trees. The pine trees, uh, there's definitely a, a brush technique there that, that needs to be worked on to get right. Uh, I think once I get some trees in front of it, it'll be okay. If people come to look at the pine trees, then they're just going to be disappointed. But there you go. Uh, backdrop more or less complete.